got the same name and you go by Max? Yeah. So rap name. Oh, I yeah. see what you're saying. Is it one X or two X? Or you got triple X because you're nasty. Three of them. Yeah. It's, it's three. Of them. <laughs> it's two. It ain't just two. That's right. All right. Um. Uh. Let's go ahead and put our mics up a little bit. Ugh. Go ahead and get comfortable. There we go. Uh. No, I I, I sincerely appreciate you guys coming back. Um. We're here with uh, Emmett Dupree and Max Dupree. Um, is it Max Dupree? Ty sure. Dupree, but... Same thing. You know, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Three X's? Yep. <laughs> Three of them. They were, they were, here, they were here beforehand, uh, but we, we fucked up, and uh, we made the, the, the amateur mistake, and we didn't have enough memory to record the shit, so I really appreciate you both coming back, seriously. Uh, we're going to do it right this time and make sure that we get it out. Um, so, so I was intrigued... Uh, initially when when even it, it was put on I, I don't want to say the desk I don't have a fucking official desk but mm-hmm. when it was put on the on the desk that you know you wanted to come on the show because that's one of those those artists that I don't know about and right. so of course when I'm doing my research and I'm digging deep and I'm, I'm I'm looking at everything could I have done my research a lot more in in real time absolutely did I no mm-hmm. and I think that the last interview that we had kind of kind of showed it a little bit and mm-hmm. That was, you know, one of the things that I probably won't forgive myself for, but I, I, I should have done a lot more of my research because I, I, I enjoy having conversation and I kind of think that in conversation I can, I can figure out who I'm talking to. And then in the last conversation we had, mm-hmm. it was so nine ways from Sunday different from, mm. from anything that I could have imagined. I mean, you, you, you both have such different personalities and you both have these, right. these, <laughs> these, these, these. Uh, attributes about yourselves that I didn't I didn't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. Uh, even after the interview, I'm sitting here thinking like that went incredible, and I had no idea. So mm-hmm. uh, let's kind of go go from the beginning into you know who both of you are as as people and as as musicians. Um, so Emmett, mm-hmm. you know you, I guess in the 2000 what 16, 17, and 18. Mm-hmm era you were a rapper and now Mm -hmm. it's kind of evolved and you're you're changing your style a little bit more you know tell us a little bit more about who 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 is Emmett Dupree so Emmett Dupree is a singer and a rapper that's the thing Uh, as far as like what I unveil at the times I do it uh, I'm a believer in like mustard seeding fans and anyone that you're trying to like uh, cultivate any kind of like uh, I don't know movement with like to mustard seed with it. So at a when point, when you say mustard seed, mm-hmm, yeah, a, like when I say mustard seed, at a point, I was just singing. Like when I first started, my first mixtape is called Complicated Heart. It's straight R and B. Like there's two rap verses, and they're not for me. Right. Yeah. So, so. The, I know you have a singing background. Mm-hmm. That was from your mother. Yeah, yeah, mother. Yep, she has an amazing voice. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yes. you started. At, I know you started with a, a church singing a lot, and, mm-hmm. and that was kind of where you were able to, to capitalize on your singing and everything else. Yeah, that definitely helped. Mm-hmm. So you took that, and when did you start? When What was the transition between when you were singing mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then when you wanted to rap? Got you. Well, I guess the first thing I ever started doing as an artist was spoken word. So that's what I started with. I was just writing that a lot. You know what I mean? And You're talking poems. Yeah, poems. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And you would write those, and you would perform, or you would keep them to yourself, and you would perform in the mirror. Because that, yeah, that's what I do a lot: is just look <laughs> at myself in the mirror, and then I decide when I look like a fucking idiot. I got you. <laughs> and I'm like, change that. <laughs> Self awareness is everything. Nah, but uh, yeah, pretty much keeping to myself. I didn't show too many people. Maybe show like my parents, like one thing, or maybe like one piece of poetry slipped out in fifth grade one time, but it wasn't like the lightest, brightest thing. So what do you mean by lightest, brightest? It was, it was uh, just, it was pretty deep. Oh, and I was in fifth, in fifth grade. grade. Oh yeah. So the teacher was like, what was it about? What's this? Um, just not feeling worthy. In fifth grade. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yes. Yeah, it was pretty extra, do you but need I hug? mean, it was deep. Uh, not now. No, <laughs> 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 maybe back then. Not now. Uh, no, that's, that's pretty, I don't know a lot of people that can mm-hmm. sit there and say like, yeah, in fifth grade, it was, I was, I was feeling deep personal emotion. Yeah. What, what kind of thing, what were you feeling back then? What was, what was the thing you were harping on? Just not worthy. Worthy of what? Uh, what love was. Cause you have an example of what you think it is, or you don't even know what it is. You, you don't even think you just like live, but like 
you know once you start getting comparisons, like when you start going to school and you start seeing like, oh, their parents do this or their parents don't do this or or what it looks like from the outside at least. Yeah. But yeah, when I got home, it was we had a little issues, but I mean that's everyone. But I was just very aware. I think that's the only difference is I was aware pretty early. So, what do you think made you aware? I think it's fun. It's interesting that you say that uh, you mm -hmm. know you're looking at other families and oh, this family does this, this family does that, and and you know what's it interesting mm -hmm. about you saying things like that is my my brother Cole and I we we grew up in a, a very different household you know single mm -hmm. mother that that had her own issues and and we kind of had to had to build on our own and and mm -hmm. become that but you know what we experienced was very different than what we experienced with other kids our own age right you know and we're just mm -hmm. like oh everyone yells at home everyone's called a retard at home gosh gotcha. everyone <laughs> you know everyone knows you know uh mm -hmm. uh that that things might happen and and mm -hmm. you know sometimes you might feel a little bit scared at home right. so my question is you know what were those things because i could forgive me if i'm if i'm mistaken uh mm -hmm. your parents are still together whose parents right oh, <laughs> wait a minute God. yeah whose parents <laughs> so we have different parents different mothers yeah. mm -hmm. different mothers yeah, different okay moms. same dad mm -hmm. yeah. gotcha so I, I i don't know so that answers that question no, but, I, yeah, that's, but I got you. you know let's kind of expand on that for a second you mm -hmm. What does the I'm interested whenever I talk to 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 anyone. Mm -hmm. What does the perfect home look like to you, and 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 how does that differ from the home that you were brought up with? Um, I was brought up in the perfect home. Oh, and I say that because I am who I am today. And if I wasn't brought up in a home with like hardship and like eternal struggles and shit like that, then I wouldn't be this way. I wouldn't be able to go teach other individuals. I wouldn't be able to go talk to other individuals or I wouldn't be someone that people confide in. So I wouldn't be this person if I didn't. So I think it was definitely the perfect household. And I think the perfect household is just a trying household. Like, cause nobody has rule books. Nobody has like fucking parent parental pam pamphlets. That's the truth. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So like, That's the truth. they got to do what they got to do. And you got to just try to be communicative. When you say that, you're mm -hmm. you're talking about uh, not hiding what your struggles were, but but being open about it. Absolutely, like that would have it would have prevented me making a poem at school. Okay, uh, uh, yeah. can you elaborate on that a little bit? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, if it, the communication would have been a lot more efficient at my crib, I I wouldn't have felt this need to write it out somewhere random. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a song called Mama Don't and that got that got made for the same exact reason as well it's cause like okay well since we can't have this conversation I have to express this this way right or you know or we, we bottle up and then we have the another conversation but I'd rather not do that so you, you, you probably gauge the individual that you're talking to and decide whether or not it's an mm -hmm. open open discussion or whether or not it's something that needs to be built into you know i, I listen mm -hmm. to a lot of comedians that that mm -hmm. talk about you know i can i can go to a, a 15 minute set right but i'm not going to hit them with the me too jokes gosh i'm, I'm, I'm going to build minutes. into it you <laughs> know and kind of gauge my audience it's kind of the same thing where Monster you're, you're going to gauge your audience and mm -hmm. once you find out what they're acceptable what, what what is acceptable and what's not rather you're going to then hit them with the hard hardships and 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 mm -hmm. and find that that soul, that heart, that, that main, right. that main frame that makes them who they are and mm -hmm. break it down. You know, so many people have that, had that, that, that difference. So I'm actually, I'm interested to talk to you guys about, uh, mm -hmm. so him and I have different dads, but oh, we have the same funny. mom. <laughs> Y'all have different moms, have the same, same dad. dad. All right. So what was that like growing up? Uh, Interesting. It was, it was like, I don't know. It was pretty different. Yeah. yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. It's I mean, definitely going to be different, but right. but you know, I'm I'm. This is why I ask, is because you know, him and I have that 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 maternal um, mm -hmm. absence. Right. Got you. But but at the same time, that's kind of where we grew from, and that's mm -hmm. that's what we know. And so I think one of the things that that we contemplate constantly is finding that maternal absence, whereas. You know, but we had our mom. Mm -hmm. Whereas I don't, I don't know what the situation is with y'all, but mm -hmm. you know, both of you having the same dad. What was that like? You guys obviously have a very close relationship, so that has yeah. to be mm -hmm. on on the 
ascent difference of, right. of everything that him and I know. You know, the, mm. the, when it comes to to man to son, right? There's there's a or, or father thing. to son. There's there's mm. a big difference. You know, and and what does that what does that look like? How does how did this relationship happen as closely as it appears to to be? Uh, my dad attempting to make it glue with yeah. as much glue as he had, which wasn't much, but like we right. caught on and like held on to each other. Yeah. Cause I mean, if we didn't do that also, his, his efforts wouldn't have worked either. Fast. Okay. You know what I mean? So what do you mean his efforts wouldn't have worked? Uh, you know, I don't mean to no, I got you. dive deep in, in, hey, into deep, y'all's family no, business, but, but I, I want to find out because, mm-hmm. you know, listening to, to your music and, and you go, up, down, and all around. That's right. You know, <laughs> you 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 pretty much have this. Um, mm-hmm. You're very versatile. Thank you. Not only in in rap and 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 singing and and hip hop, R and B, changing genres, but your subject content mm-hmm. is up, down, and all around. Mm-hmm. That has to stem from somewhere, and I would assume a right. lot of it, or at least a good amount of it, has to come from how you grew up. Living, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. So, what was that relationship like? I mean, mm-hmm. it, it just honestly, again, like my dad did his best, or the the people in the middle. I don't want to say it was just him, but who would they be? I, I I'm not sure. You know what I mean? Those could be hands that I don't see all the time. You know what I mean? Like his grandmother and my dad may be coming together and and being on good terms to allow you know so on so on and so forth things to continue to happen. Them conti- to continue to come over. So, you know, he had to do his thing. They had to do their thing. Grownups had to be grownups to allow, you know? Yeah. And yeah. then us growing up, we had to be grownups to be like, yeah. this is important enough for me to hold on. This is my brother, brother, regardless mm-hmm. of what this right. is or this is or whatever all little schematics people have. So it, it kind of took all of us, you know? I hear that. Mm. Max. So. <laughs> should, I, I should I should welcome a seat. For your gum, oh, because it's go. making a oh, huge yeah, appearance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. To, yeah, the gum. <laughs> no, you're good, man. I, it, being being in front of a microphone and and, and talking in, in an interview, it's weird because there's a lot of different shit going on. Oh, so I just just I just because I don't know if that's something I can edit out. <laughs> yeah, Facts. Know. Yeah, got you. But at least your breath's minty. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it was some fruity. Oh, okay. It was some, it was some crazy. peach, peach trident. You know, what I'm saying? peach trident. <laughs> no sponsor yet. Yeah, I was good. the shit that signs of teeth. Uh, so that that blows my mind, and and I like hearing this because mm-hmm. for 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 him at least, and I know I keep referencing back. It's I got right. I got fucking six brothers and sisters across the board, but and they're all younger. But mm-hmm. you know, him and I have an incredible bond. Mm-hmm. Because I, I I watched him grow up, mm-hmm. and then there was a time when you know, Ty has to do Ty, right? You know, mm-hmm. I I left the house and and ended up you know growing into my own, mm-hmm. and then I come back and he's seventeen years old, and I'm like, holy shit, you're That's a right. year from being a, a, a human, you're a, human, up, a year, yeah. like holy <laughs> yeah. shit. And him and I have a close bond, like you know, mm-hmm. there's not a single person in this world that's gonna love him more than I do, right? Sorry, Doug, but you know. I'm curious to see what that relationship was like mm-hmm. when it comes to 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 you two. You know, mm-hmm. you have I know that mothers are very protective over their own Absolutely. or at least, you know, in the ideology of of nurturing and everything else. And I don't know if I've ever seen personally brothers that I mean, he accompanied you last time mm-hmm. and and you're accompanying him this time, so yeah. you guys you all got to mm-hmm. Y'all gotta fuck with each other a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, oh, how does how yeah, does that relationship and bond grow? But from uh, a side that I I don't know, I personally I don't mm-hmm. know. So I'm curious to hear like how that how our bond grew. Yeah, we pretty much just stuck around, like stayed mm-hmm. doing whatever. Me and him used to do whatever. Like, and we didn't get too yeah. much in like the grown up portion the grown-ups business portion yeah. of things mm-hmm. so we don't take that on with us today as a grown-up so i just see my brother i don't see Facts. you know all the stuff some that lady happened. yeah we don't see yeah. all the yeah i don't see a oh he has yeah. a different mom that's a different lady here this is, i don't even really pay attention to that i feel know? like you know anyone that's listening and hearing it be like mm-hmm. well yeah obviously that's that's how they see it because that's exactly how i see mm-hmm. my brother mm-hmm. 
but I, I don't know mm. something, something about it, you know, when it comes to the mom aspect and the dad, I mean, Arizona mm. used to be very much in favor of the mother. Mother. It yeah, is still, I think. Is. is it still? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So they were very much in favor of like, mom has the rights. Mom gets the child support. Mm-hmm. Mom gets this. Mom gets that. There was not, the father got right. left fucked, you know, mm. on everything. <laughs> and so in that, in that, you know, mm-hmm. the, the father usually deals with their own. Mm-hmm. And the mother deals with everything else. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's where my 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 questions come from. So I hope mm-hmm. that doesn't come off as as different, but mm-hmm. that's kind of a newfound thought yeah. process for me. Right. You know, um, I do have a brother of mine that that is of the same father, and mm-hmm. you know, the mother he he ended up moving and living with the mother, and uh, I love all of them equally. You know, right. but right. but I don't communicate or have any contact with him like I do Cole. Yeah, it happens. You know? Yeah, that happens. But like, I mean, me and his mom, like, pretty tight, though. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah my that's mom and his mom, yeah, like, yeah, that's that's, that's pretty... her son, too. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, she when she's calling me, she's like, hey, where Max, yeah. where Key's at, you know? And yeah. I'm like, oh, you're right here. And that's oh, same so thing. You Birthday, he pre- it's, it's, it's it's no different, really. Oh, no shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I see what's going and on. And that's because, like, you played she... played the game. And then you got more in reward. Look at it. <laughs> call it that. It happened. It happened to come. Yeah. No, that's awesome. I appreciate you. You. You kind of diving into that because, mm-hmm. again, I'm an idiot when it comes to stuff like that. I. I it's I, life. It's cool to hear that there's other people out out there that that have that same background, mm-hmm. and kind of went through it the same way. But the way that it sounds is y'all y'all did it right. I mean, I don't think there's a the right. Best, as we, but, like to the best we could. Yeah. yeah. And that is the right. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I mean, you're both here today. You're both doing music. You, that's right. You're doing everything that you can to to make it right now, and that's mm-hmm. that's incredible. Um. So, let's talk about a little uh, a little bit back to to the music part of of things. You mm-hmm. came out with hundreds and things this year. Uh, hundreds and things last year. Last or, year. Or, uh, I guess. That yeah, was last right. year. Right. I was just like, well, uh, <laughs> Happy New Year, motherfuckers. Exactly. <laughs> hey, cheers to that real quick. Man, we got to cheer up again. Oh. There you go. Got the gum on the top. I know, right? Same, same, same. <laughs> you know, it's different. Um, Mikko Vulture doesn't usually have a, a fruity component to it, but yeah. uh, I guess in this case, you can mm-hmm. get the aroma oh, of yeah. the Triton. You know, yeah, just a tad, just all. a little bit. Yeah, it's like a little school, little pinch. So yeah. last year, <laughs> you came out with three singles mm-hmm. last year, mm-hmm. and I think I'm forgetting. I'm gonna forget one of them. Uh, Hundreds mm-hmm. and things. Mm-hmm. Klaus. Yep. Mm-hmm. What was the third one? Faith, I think. Faith. If I'm not. What does that stand for? Fear ain't your friend. Oh shit. Okay, give me a little backstory. Absolutely. So the backstory is actually a female that I was dating, and she was in this situation. Was her name Faith or Faith? Uh, I'll, I'll leave her name. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> right, as as is that, what right. it is. But like, <laughs> but I mean, it's it's in there. Oh, but she knows that, you know. So she'll, you know, she got the heads up. Absolutely, perfect type thing. There mm-hmm. you go. So what is that? What, what's what's the basis of that one? Uh, pretty much how fear can make you very still. It could put you in a stagnant place instead of a place of like. Fight or flight, which is what you should be doing at points where you're not getting treated how you should be. Okay, uh, what was your what was your motivation for not only mm-hmm. obviously faith being the the motivation of the relationship and and how mm-hmm. it made you feel, but what was your motivation for you know fight or flight mentality? Is that you domestic know, violence? Oh shit! Yeah, so the song and to be as clear as possible, it's about just domestic violence, like. Uh, and I mean, obviously it's for whoever needs the message, but the specific message is about a female and kind of how the first verse is about a boyfriend that she's with. That's like kind of hitting her and stuff like that. He's abusive. That's the point. And he, she's allowing that. Um, the second verse gets into, would you put it, would you put it as allowing or would you put it as allowing and, and because of the second verse. Okay. And now again, it's <laughs> Shut not up, her, Ty. no, it's all good. It's not, it's not her fault that she's allowing. It's not her fault that she's allowing. Cause we can get into that conversation too. But the second verse is about the dad and how the foundation of which, where she came from told her that was love. So of course that's what she thinks is supposed to happen. That goes back to the conversation we had about, you know, you expect that from everyone. Mm-hmm. You expect your family life to be everyone's family life. I think that I, I don't think that's addressed enough. 
mm-hmm. in, especially amongst our generation of people. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you think about it, I would assume we're all born in the 90s. Mm-hmm. So that's coming right out of the, you know, uh, heroin, meth, crack mm-hmm. era. And, and my right, family, right can, out of it, yeah. my family can kind of, you know, and, and, and my, my parents, you know, they were a part of these types of things, not to say that they're fucking addicts now, but they went through that mm-hmm. and went through that while we were kids and we got to see it firsthand. Mm-hmm. You know, I think, uh, I don't think it's, it's, it's brought up enough, mm-hmm. especially in popular culture that that kind of shit mm-hmm. resonates with us right now. And I think that's one of the reasons personally, I don't, this isn't based on science. This isn't based gotcha. on fact, <laughs> but I think that's one of the reasons why we have as many, you know, uh, mm-hmm. depression cases as we do. Mm-hmm. That's because we have a lot of people that, that grow up and realize what in the fuck did I grow up in? Mm-hmm. What was I seeing? Mm-hmm. That's not, you know, that, and, and I've, I've actually, I've read a lot recently about, you know, a lot of anxiety cases, a lot of mm-hmm. depression cases and, and the treatments that people are going through. We wonder why people, you know, buy things to, at, as, as part of uh what? Uh, like a know, numbing? Yeah. Shop, shop, shop therapy. Got you. Store therapy, you to, know. Mm-hmm. I think the reason is because it, it makes them feel like they're on their own and they can do it on their, on, on their own. They can, they can do it themselves. Mm-hmm. Whereas we're depending on these people that really couldn't depend on themselves. Mm-hmm. Personally. In that's, cases of, because I'm getting like a, you mean like people or do you mean like medicine? Do you, all of the above. Okay, I mean, I mean you. you know, personally, mm-hmm. I had parents that depended on medicine. Got you. Whatever that medicine was, whether it was regulated by the FDA or what, whatever that medicine was. It was a temporary fulfillment. Exactly. And, you know, the the difference being that kids aren't regulated by medicine. They're mm-hmm. just going based off of natural born energy. They're going based off natural born experience. Fair. And then they're they're being molded and shaped to to act in a world that is all these very people real. who's formed bad habits. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you turn, you know, like I was 16 when I moved out, you turn 16, 17, 18 and you're like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. What, what is this? What is this world? And then you start to kind of realize it real fucking quick. Mm-hmm. And then you turn, there's that moment where you turn on yourself and you're like, I don't think I'm doing the right things. Mm-hmm. But then there's that moment of also self-realization where you have to sit there and be like, maybe I wasn't just dealt the greatest hand of cards. Mm-hmm. That's where I came from. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's not addressed in our society right now. Right. So when it comes to the whole, I don't want to go to college. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do X, Y, and Z. And then we have the people that are older than us being like, oh, well, you got to do this. You got to do this. You got to do this. It's like, fuck you. You don't know what the fuck you're mm-hmm. talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there, there's a big disconnect there. There's a mm-hmm. huge disconnect. I mean, yeah. how many people have to actually go into a studio and pay money to go into a studio to record an album nowadays? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not that many. Mm-hmm. You just got to buy an Apple computer. Well, shout out to Apple. If you know what you're uh, <laughs> or or, or a, a computer that can harvest that amount of memory, get a little MIDI keyboard, and if you're good with music, you don't even have to be good with music. You just have to download a program right. where you hit one thing and you have the entire theory. Thanks. And and next thing you know, if you're putting your mind to it, if you're you're practicing every day, if you're singing in the shower, shout out to our last interview that no one's going to hear. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. you'll you'll you can get get good on your own. Mm -hmm. That's not something that anyone of our, you know, previous generation knew about. That's all new to us. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. The web and things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So gift and the curse there. How do you figure? Uh, The web gift and the curse. Uh, I'm interested to hear your take. Um, Gift, as far as like connecting is concerned, I think that was the, one of the only pros, or like maybe like the biggest pro at least. Yeah, I feel like there's way more cons. Just like a well, anyone can put out shitty instant, music. Instant gratification, and oh, I mean like the web, like the <laughs> internet. My fault. Like oh yeah, no, but the internet, and in terms mm-hmm. of being your own, being your own producer, anyone can put I got out you. shitty you mean music. musically. I got you. Okay, <laughs> but when you say, I was just trying to pinpoint the conversation. I got you. Yeah, in, instant gratification is important. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you say instant gratification, I know we talked about this a little bit last time too. Mm-hmm. That a hundred percent is a curse. Yeah, life. and I, your take on it was was interesting. Mm-hmm. 
I don't even remember my take, but I think we were talking about something that had to do with it. But in this instance, as far as the internet is concerned, like things that we have that our parents uh, prior didn't have. Yeah, I think instant gratification is one of the downsides that we uh, are going to learn that is a downside because I don't think everybody thinks it is. You know, like the, I don't mi- think we've like the microwave. Yet. I don't think people, you know, the microwave to the oven theory or, you know. Is that to say, you know, microwave causes cancer? We just didn't know it yet. I mean, on a small spectrum, yeah. But yeah, well, I mean, this is, I think it's a little deeper because this is just less like physical downfall. I think it's more of like a mental or spiritual thing. Which is huge. And and, and yeah. I don't think that's been recognized. I get, so if we want to go down that rabbit hole, we absolutely can. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know. Uh, actually, I think I do based on our last conversation, but mm-hmm. you know what y'all's spiritual relief, uh, spiritual beliefs are, mm-hmm. but you know, when it comes to mental gratification, spiritual gratification, mm-hmm. I think this is one of the first generations globally mm-hmm. that is starting to accept the self as as the person that got them there rather than being reliant on a higher power. Now, mm-hmm. whatever you believe, mm-hmm. not to say that 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 didn't assist, that didn't help in what you believe, but oftentimes more than not, we have a lot of people that are like, you know, going away from from mm-hmm. western ideology. Got you. Mhm. I see what you mean. I um, I guess I just have a different story, I guess per se, but I, I can't disagree it. with what you're saying. I do agree that a lot of people have strayed away from a lot of the westernized, yeah, you know, religion and like ways of like believing and stuff like that. You I know? don't think that's to say that, that mm. anyone's right or wrong. I don't think that's to say that, you mm. know... God didn't have anything to help with it. You know, Christ mm-hmm. didn't have anything to help with it. You know, whatever you believe, whatever gets you to that point, mm-hmm. gets you to that point. And no one's right or wrong if you're doing mm-hmm. the right thing. Got At you. the end of the day, you know, regardless of what religion you you are, the Bible mm-hmm. is a guideline. Mm-hmm. Right? I agree. It, it, it very much, regardless of what you think, says, don't fucking kill someone. Mm-hmm. Don't fucking steal. Mm-hmm. Don't fuck someone's wife. Mm-hmm. You know, it goes into all these different things that's like, hey, just be a good person, mm-hmm. right? And there's plenty of others that I left out, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. But it, it it sets this guideline, this parameter that, you know, mm-hmm. sets you up for success. Mm-hmm. Okay. So in, in in that respect, anybody that follows a certain religion that at least abides by those commandments, that those guidelines, regardless of what you believe, mm-hmm. you got to be a pretty decent person at that point i mean you know life is so case by case man i just gotta you just gotta fill people out you know okay let's talk about that for a sec when mm-hmm. you say fill people out mm-hmm. elaborate like last time when we seen you you know what i'm saying like i fill people out like even now you know like just what you say, the fruits of a man's labor, the things that come off of a man's tongue, those things are very important, you know what I'm saying? So just fill them out. What are you feeling right now? <laughs> I'm still thinking. <laughs> I'm still is, thinking that, is that to say that you thought this, but I threw you a fucking curveball? Oh, no, no, that no. That? It's just because it's an interview. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. I had to throw it in there real quick. Well, that makes me think. Are you holding back right now? Are you holding back on me, Emmett? Oh, no. <laughs> Are you that's, holding back on me? See, that's why you got that, though. That's why you got that answer is because I'm not holding back. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's real. No, for sure. Heard. I got you. So, all right. So, you came out with uh, three singles this year, mm-hmm. last year, uh, and the most recent being Hundreds mm-hmm. and Things, Yep. Mm-hmm. which threw me for a fucking curveball. <laughs> like... I don't know what I was expecting, but when I listened uh-huh. to it, I was like, okay, okay. And I think we spoke about this last time. Like, right. I got this I got this kind of 2003 mm-hmm. club vibe in the middle of it. Yep. And then you went right back to being a real person, mm-hmm. which kind of entices the the listener, at least, to, to be like, oh, shit, wait a minute. Wait, yeah. <laughs> but then they go back into the lyrics, and they, mm. you, you start listening, and you're like, wait, I think he's, I think he's saying... Like mm-hmm. truthful shit. I think there's actually something Some that I can listen to here. <laughs> yeah. It's not just you know we're not we're not just 
throwing lyrics out just to throw lyrics out. There's mm-hmm. a message. Mm-hmm. What was your what, what what were you trying to get across? I was just trying to get across um, like where real value lies. I guess to me, as far as like what the artist is concerned, like me being the guy behind the paintbrush. But yeah, like you know. Real value doesn't lie in the money part. That's why when I'm talking about the money part, when I'm like 20s and 50s and 100s, I'm talking about like it's I'm literally numbing. The, I literally say like this, you know, sweater expensive for me to sit under the rain. That's like a metaphor. Like I got the cloud over me, but mm-hmm. I have this nice sweater on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like <laughs> you, you said that you you, you paint. Mm-hmm. It's almost it's almost a decoy. Mm-hmm. So you'll call the song hundreds and things like a blanket. Yeah, but yeah. that's not what you mean. You Not just say that to entice people to somewhat. listen to it. Yeah, yeah, somewhat, somewhat. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's more of like, a, like, okay, you're not going to listen to certain things if it's coming from a certain source or a certain approach from a, a source, you know? Right. So you got to make sure your approach is correct. So my approach in this world, which I'm in now, currently like living in, I have to make sure that it's appealing as well to the world and I'm laying down what my soul is talking about you do the same thing in crash absolutely crash is kind of more like brass though Mm -hmm. it's kind of not even hidden like the first lyric is almost killed a white man on the road today you know it's not really hidden. (laughs) you (laughs) throw it all out there immediately (laughs) no i i I love that and when last time when i was watching the video i'm sitting there and i'm scratching my head i'm like wait (laughs) wait a fucking minute because you Mm. you kind of tailor the the discussion Mm-hmm. From from and going from hundreds and things, which is kind of like like a, a pump, like yep. fuck yeah, let's go mm-hmm. kind of song to mm-hmm. crash, where it's just like, mm-hmm. who hurt this man? Mm-hmm. You know, like there, there's That's there's right. a difference, but at the same time, the words that you're saying are are it's more political than anything. You know, you're probably like the third person who's told me that, so that's kind of cool because I'm attempting to get something like that weighs weight across. So yeah. that's that's cool. Yeah, I I not that it's the same. Same, but but mm. I likened what I heard from Crash in terms mm-hmm. of your content. Got you to Akala. I don't know if you've ever listened to Akala, but he he does Akala. a he he does like this this rap mm-hmm. slash like like alternative deal. Oh, that's cool. Where he just talks about mm-hmm. politics, and that, that that's the oh. main source of it. And it's a run on rap, and there's no real chorus. Oh, that's cool. But it's <laughs> just like a that. continuous, yeah. you know, uh, and at, by the end of it, you're just sitting here just, I just got beat the shit out of, you know, like you're just I like, like holy shit, like whatever he was doing, he had on lyrical gloves or something and it mm-hmm. was just kicking the shit out of me. But mm-hmm. I felt that same thing from you. Thank um, so, so kudos to what you're doing and, you. and I'm, I'm honestly looking forward to what you do this year because thank you, man. Thank wait. God 2020 is over. That's for fucking sure. It went by fast. Yeah, it did. Well, for how much shit they, I don't know what whatever you want to call it, God, whatever. They packed a shit ton into 2020, and they were like, "Listen up, humanity. <laughs> Y'all had it easy up until now. When's the last time we dealt with a pandemic? Oh, SARS, never. Ebola, fucking and SARS wasn't th- that even wasn't that shit. bad. Yeah, I remember SARS. I remember the masks. I remember MRSA. Y'all the, remember MRSA? That no, wasn't shit. I don't remember MRSA like that. Well, and it's funny now that we're we're kind of mm. doing the studies and everything, and we're mm. realizing that it probably wasn't mm. as bad that's as it could have been. Oh, now that we got, right. that's funny. I've heard a lot that this is this was kind of a trial run for what shit could have been. Have y'all heard that? I've heard this was a trial run for a lot, or just a yeah. Well, and 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 not to dive down the rabbit hole, but you kind of mm-hmm. you 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 know that Bill Gates did this this pandemic TED talk. Yeah, he got a patent on a lot of different. Interesting things as well. Interesting things, right? Mm. And at first, when the pandemic started, everyone was like, 5G, it's fucking your life up. <laughs> and then they were like, oh, well, it's Bill Gates. He's fucking your life up. It's like, okay, That's let's pump good. the brakes a little bit. Yes, he came out with this agenda, 23 or 24, or 25, whatever the fuck it was, and he wants to depopulate the, hum- the, the, the world. Yes, he does all these things, and he wants to vaccinate. Yes, he wants to microchip. Oh, shit, wait a minute. He might actually want to kill people. Like, that was the mentality <laughs> when everything started, and then you start to realize, wait, this is still the motherfucker that connected the, un- the, 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 the known world with Microsoft. Who doesn't... Thank you. Who hasn't owned a Microsoft computer? Right. At one point in time, you're telling me that you went straight to... There's probably some dipshits out there that went straight to Apple, but you're telling me at one point you haven't owned a fucking 
do y'all remember the uh, the 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 what was it the LG chocolate back in the day? The phone. That's oh, funny. Yeah. My or, big sister had this like a slide up looking thing. Yeah. 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 Phone. Or or about. any of any of those devices that that we all use. Windows Media Player. Y'all remember Windows Media? Like everyone has used <laughs> something crazy. that had to do with Microsoft. And now, as soon as a, a pandemic comes out, we're like, he's trying to kill everybody. Okay. Well, yeah. hey, when you make that amount of money, mm-hmm. and you're a global pandemic happens, mm-hmm. I would hope that the person that's one of the richest people in the world says mm-hmm. maybe I could put a little bit of money into stopping this. I don't know. That's just me. I, I'm I not friends f- with the guy, but uh-huh. you know. I don't feel. I, I just me. I'm a man of like your actions. I'm a man of like the fruits of your labor. So I don't see. I don't see why now is the time he wants to put his money into helping individuals. What do you mean? I don't see why now is the time he wants to do so. Man, man can't hide timing. Mm-hmm. Okay, we can do our best to do so, but I don't think we can. Well. There's been other things that he's done in the past that mm. that that he's done like like on know, this scale. Uh, he's tried. Uh, there were certain vaccinations for. I mean, I know he he put his mm. best foot forward for Ebola. He put his best foot forward for a whole bunch of other vaccinations, and unfortunately, some of them didn't work. But that's like saying, you know, I'm gonna put out an update on Windows and hope that it works. Well, how mm. many times do we run into crashes and, and things like that on, on different platforms? Like it's mm-hmm. gonna happen. And unfortunately, our lives lost and, and do people get sick? A hundred and ten percent, but the effort is there. Again, this isn't mm-hmm. a case to like I love Bill Gates. That's not the case. I got you. But mm-hmm. you can't you can't sit here and, and, and the first person to jump at it that's like, mm-hmm. we're gonna come out with a vaccine, you're like you're the fucking antichrist. Like, come on. Like, let's take mm-hmm. it a little easy. Mm-hmm. At the same time, you know. Because I don't really trust him. You don't? No. no. <laughs> I'm kind of in your I same. I don't see why I'm I would. kind of in your same boat. But I don't see why I would. Like, other than like, is, is he atheist? I don't know for sure. Okay, I was just making sure that wasn't the connection that you, you like. Oh no no no! Oh, okay. Not even just, close. Not I was even just close. I was just checking. Okay, but but, like but said, wait, why I do you say that? I don't know what he's done. I don't know what he's done. But why do you say that? Because I don't know what he's done that stand out for you to be like, you know. Well, he was one of the first people to jump on and be like, "Hey." Prior to COVID, I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, other than creating one of the biggest networking platforms in terms of computers of all time and you think he did that in the interest of just people no uh, no there was definitely a financial gain absolutely yeah. but isn't that the foundation of everything is a oh, financial no. gain to, to to make yourself a, to make yourself financially stable no nah. i mean it depends what type of man old. you are i guess okay well yeah Emmett, every time i talk to you i learn something about myself that i need to work on but hey i'm just gonna, <laughs> hey, just, just, just being me you know but but no, I mean, at the end of the day, is there a financial gain for everything? Yeah, I mean, Pfizer just came out with the the vaccine. We don't or or and Moderna, you, we don't think that they're gonna get a three hundred million vaccines they have to produce just for America, they might. just for America. We don't think they're gonna make financial gain off that. They might. Well, they for sure will. I'm just yeah. saying, as far as like intention is concerned, that has to do with what a man is about, not like just because the fact he did it. Would you like like your Microsoft example? What you're saying? Okay. Uh, what about it? Like the fact that he did it isn't the reason why I would champion him. The intention behind it, which I wouldn't be able to tell because I don't know him well, mm-hmm. which is why I don't have any judgment on him at all. But it seems like you're a little pro him, so I just wanted to ask you the <laughs> question about it. But yeah, that's all I'm saying. Like only if his intention behind making Microsoft was what you said, like connect the millions of people. Then yeah, it makes sense. I but. wouldn't say that I'm pro Bill Gates, but at the same time, I'm not also anti Bill Gates because, like you said, mm-hmm. I don't know him very well. Yeah, but I at the I same time, him. at the same time, do you see how quick people were to jump on him when he when when the coronavirus thing happened? And yeah, was you know do do mm-hmm. all these websites that that you wouldn't take normal news from anyway generate bullshit information? Yeah, but what's normal and those were the news? Ones, uh, is it news though? Yeah, like you mean Fox? Is Fox News normal news? Fuck no, they're an entertainment. Okay, CBS program. is that is that? Fuck normal? no, they're an entertainment okay. program. ABC, just, CNN, checking. all of them. They're all entertainment I was programs. Just checking. I was they just checking. might cite news, mm-hmm. but they're not news. Facts. All they're doing is sitting there. I mean, if you've listened to CNN any time in the past 24, 36 months, all they're doing is the world's ending tomorrow. We all need to make sure that we're rationing this, this, and it's like. Calm. <laughs> Fox News. If you listen to this, any of the Democrats, they're doing this, this, and this, and you need to make sure that you're protecting your homes. Like, calm 
calm down, dude. That's not mm-hmm. the case. You know, you take independent sources, mm-hmm. and that's where you get your news sources from. You got to listen to both sides, but the both sides you listen to, if you're listening to CNN and Fox News and gaining an opinion... It's a bias. Uh, it's kind of hard to gain a bias because you're you're getting extreme left and you're getting extreme right. Yeah, I'm saying like they're both clear bias. Speaking of of, of news and, and recent mm-hmm. things, did you guys hear what the fuck is happening today? The Capitol, yeah. We're what talking, in the fuck? Before we came in here, that's what we were talking about. Yeah, I love it. literally just watching that. Yeah. I love it. I'm all about it. You know why? Because mm-hmm. you remember all the riots and shit that went on mm-hmm. during... during uh, uh, you know, what was it? It was after March. Black it was Lives April. Matter. It was Black Lives Matter, but mm-hmm. I'm talking like March, April, May, June-ish. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this were, these were mostly Democratic people. Mm-hmm. Now you have mostly right-wing people. And mm-hmm. they're, they're, not, they're not, you know, rioting mm-hmm. or looting things. They're just saying, fuck it, and storming the fucking, the, 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 what, the Capitol mm-hmm. Hill? Hello? Mm-hmm. It's the same, same, but different. Really? That's not really. Doing. Not at all. No, 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 no. Not in the sense of why they're doing it. The fact that they're doing it. So now it's you the have... the same? Hold on. I'm asking. It's a cover up. So now you have both sides okay. that are attributing violence towards different sides. And now you can look at both sides and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-huh. Now, do I believe... I was talking with a buddy of mine and he's like... And I asked him, I'm like, do you think that, that people needed to, to protest and, and riot? And he's like, protest? Absolutely. Riot? Absolutely. fucking lutely And I said, why do you think they need to riot? And he's like, well, I have no how many either. times did protesting get somewhere? I'm like, okay. Continue. He goes, well, until we break shit, then people fucking listen. And I'm like, okay. Mm. So why is it that you have all of these fucking... <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I apologize if you guys... Uh, Follow oh, no, this, no, no. this specific Forward. sports team, but there's all these Oklahoma State fucking Auburn wearing motherfuckers <laughs> complaining about people breaking windows and shit, right? But now you have those motherfuckers that are storming Capitol Hill. What the fuck? What's the difference? The difference is the meaning behind the both of them, right? Intention. Exactly. But now, I mean, I just read on, I mean, this is literally happening as we speak. Yeah, right, right now. now. Yeah, right now. Okay. Yeah. So people are getting beat the shit out of right, right now. now. People yeah. are going against the cops. Somebody people got get, shot. Somebody got a shot. A lady got shot yeah. in, in the in the Capitol. So that's what I mean when I say what's the difference. People are still, mm. violence is still ensuing. The difference, when I say what is the difference, I don't mean what is the difference behind the meaning of what they're doing. I mean, what's the difference in terms of the action? Does that make sense? I think it's still different. Yeah, it is different. I think it's still big different, man. Big, I think big, we're talking. I think we're we're. I think we're shooting the same dart with different bows. Maybe so. So, you mean as the the rambunctious behavior? You correct. Saying? Okay. But, I, I, but again, do you I, think intention is the reason why or why you shouldn't do something? Right or no? What do you mean? You should have an intention why you do something. Right, a reason. There should be a reason why you do something. Do I believe they have a okay. reason for what they're doing? I believe they think they have a reason for why they're doing well, something. Well, of course, but of course, but we do know. Do I what, believe in their reason? We know what like inalienable rights are as far as like why Black Lives Matter was protesting and why they're breaking into the Capitol. It's a really big difference. But again, that goes behind reasoning as to why they're doing it. There's a huge difference as to why they're doing it. There was actually a cause uh, yeah, and a point. reason behind why there was protesting and Tell me. rioting. Tell me. No, I think. Oh, okay, yeah. That we're, Again, we're shooting the same dart, different okay. arrows, okay. or different bows. Okay. So there was a reason behind there was rioting and looting. Okay. Because, I mean, injustice amongst everything that had happened with, I mean, Breonna Taylor, mm. you know, Trayvon, everything else, there was a reason behind that. And it's been happening for so long, and systemic racism mm. is a thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but why they're storming the Capitol right now is because they lost. That's why they're storming the Capitol right now. I'm right there with you. That's why they're rioting. That's why they're protesting. That's why they're doing this thing is because, hmm. I didn't get my way once again. We lost. For once. Not not because someone died. Not because multiple people died. But because, hmm, I think we lost. In fact, I don't think we lost. I think we were unjustly adjudicated. I think we need to completely figure this whole thing out and recount absolutely everything. Let's be honest here, dude. 
Everything was counted. Everything was counted, and it took fucking weeks for that shit to be counted. And then they come out, and they're like, hey, just so you know, Georgia, which was one of the swing states, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. actually ended up being Democratic. They're like, get the fuck out of here. Recount again. What, What do you mean recount again? It's fucking January 6th. I think they wanted to recount Arizona, too, when they first got to it. They're doing it right now? No, I think they wanted one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Because, I mean, I think we, well, we're blue now. We're blue now. We've been red since... Forever. Either way, yeah. Arizona's yeah, yeah. been blue or red forever. Uh-huh. Yeah, and for so sure. even when Arizona went blue... Did you guys hear the report when they uh, told Trump that Arizona went blue? He's like, get the fuck out of here. I didn't, Actual, I didn't see that. Actual dead wow. ass. No, I was I like, oh, that. he is a real human. Okay. That's crazy. No, I didn't um, see that. But no, like, <laughs> like I said, like, you know, I think we're shooting the same... Mm-hmm. We're, we're talking about the same thing. I just think it's mm-hmm. it's funny because now, you know, mm-hmm. from both sides, when you have your your far right and your far left, mm-hmm. it's like, well, they're doing the same things, but the difference has always been the the exact reason why the two argue mm-hmm. is because one mm-hmm. doesn't care about humanity. Mm-hmm. Personally, I'm gonna get a lot of fucking shit for saying that. Just so oh, that's what it is. But one doesn't give a shit about humanity. Mm-hmm. All they give a shit is about their family, mm-hmm. their own, their property. Whereas the other gives a shit about family, but also about brothers and sisters that aren't blood related. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a big difference. Huge. Personally, I'm eager to hear what. If I talk too much, y'all know you can shut me the fuck up, oh, right? No, like no, I, you're, I just, you're, I just this <laughs> is this is going as genuine. You're you're doing well, bro. Like I I appreciate your honesty, like all of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just letting you speak, and then you know, just respectful. That's all. Yeah. Mm. Well, thank you, but you oh, know, yes. I I I think that I think it's showing its true colors at this point. Mm-hmm. Why are they protesting? Why are they rioting and mm-hmm. and going to the Capitol? Because mm-hmm. they lost. Whereas, yeah, why yeah. did the Black Lives Matter movement make a movement? Right. Why did mm-hmm. they make a shift? Mm-hmm. Well, because yeah. people were affected. They were actually affected. People died. People were injured. People, mm-hmm. you know, were were put in a position that no human being in in what our constitution is mm-hmm. should be put in. Yeah. Your turn. Facts. <laughs> I mean, it just uh, it's taken a large privileged group a very long time to see this. Um, it's taking them like, like, it's like, again, man can't hide timing. So the fact that, that now they're storming, I mean, the fact that it's happening now, the timing is really funny because we were just like, oh, shoot looters, do that, do that, do that, and that. And then we have the same. And we get to see like that the, whatever the, like all lives and all this, all the other bullshit, that they don't really have any meaning behind them at all. They're only too, 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 too contradict something else like or two you know what i mean like ridicule something else or put the hand cover over somebody else's mouth so i think that's what we get to see like that they just have no real foundation at all and like racism comes down to like ego to me honestly i think it comes down to like ego i think it comes down to a lot of that and i think a lot of people who've been through a lot of things which happen to be colored people mm-hmm. we've been through struggle and so struggle breeds community it breeds love. It breeds the other person. It breeds, oh, what can I do to help you as well? Because we're both going through this. So when people don't know struggle, they only know self. They know ego. They know individualism. They don't know the cares about other people and like, oh, like I should care for this person next to me because like me. People don't get that. So I'm glad that they're taking notice, but... I mean, it's just been a long, like, woohoo, you know, it's been a long call. I just think that when it comes down to everybody being Mm -hmm. equal and actually talking about equality, I Mm -hmm. think the difference is now, and I hope, not that this is going to happen, but I hope that they understand, oh, wait a minute, I'm hurt. Mm -hmm. And so this is why I'm doing this. And they can almost look in the mirror and be like, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Haven't we seen this before? Yeah, but they won't. Now, because... not in the same way. Uh-huh. Never. No, I got you. It's never going to be in the same way. Uh-huh. But the motherfuckers that are doing that right now mm-hmm. on Capitol Hill, there is, a, it, again, it's a same, same, but completely different. Got you. Right? They're reacting mm-hmm. to something that they feel they were given an injustice for. Mm-hmm. 
Hello. <laughs> to any normal human being, that would make sense. But yeah. it doesn't make sense to these people that have been denouncing mm-hmm. everything that's happened these past couple months. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, it goes it goes just really deep, man. Like, it's, it goes really deep. I mean, I have friends that aren't racist, you know what I mean, that have been <laughs> What do you bare, mean? <laughs> do you what? know what that means? Air quotes. Like, you know, like, I have friends that aren't racist that just barely started saying stuff about Black Lives Matter last year when it got really big and became the biggest movement of all time. So, like... Again, man can hide can hide timing. So we know who doing it for real. We know who faking. Mm-hmm. You know, we know who doing it because it's the right side of history now. Because that's not genuine as well. That's also not genuine if you're doing it because it's the right side of history now. Mm-hmm. Well, let me ask you this: mm-hmm. to the, to the to and this is one thing I was I was almost looking at the people that would, you know. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't hear anything about politics. You wouldn't hear anything about, you know, any right. sort of news conflict, anything from any of these Instagram models, any of these uh, influencers, any of the, even, even, even my friends that, that I know that are musicians, that are actors, that are this, that are that, mm-hmm. none of them, you wouldn't hear anything. Mm-hmm. But when all of this was erupting, you know, the small thing that they could do was mm-hmm. post the black square and then go out and support the protest. Mm-hmm. So let me ask you this real quick. Mm-hmm. Going back to our, our previous conversation about, you know, how we grew up in the 90s and, and our parents are kind of this, that, and the other, mm-hmm. I would like to think that the majority of us mm-hmm. granted, you know, there's 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 going to be this, that, and the other that, that we're not brought up the same way, but mm-hmm. for the most of us, you know, don't really see, and we're going to kind of hit on a little bit of touchy subjects, and if we go okay. too far, no, no, no. you know. But for the most okay. of us, we don't really see color. Mm-hmm. I, I, for the most of us, mm-hmm. right? And our generation specifically, okay. right? And so when that was the small thing that we could contribute to say, hey, I hear it. I might not know exactly what the fuck it is. Mm-hmm. I might not have ever endured what that is. Right. Nor have I might not have ever been in a situation where I've been forced to witness what mm-hmm. this is. But at least I can sit here and say, this mm-hmm. isn't okay. Right. We need to stand up for something, and we mm-hmm. need this to be heard. Mm-hmm. I want to say that there's a little bit of a break mm-hmm. there in terms of mm-hmm. the support. So mm-hmm. there's, there's two ways that, that we, you can look at it. And, and I'm, again, I'm in the, same, in the same position when it comes to looking at, at that scenario and being like, you didn't give a fuck before. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I didn't post about Black Lives Matter beforehand, but anyone that knows me before, I'm like, It's called social engineering, my guy. When you say that, social engineering, mm-hmm. what, what side are you playing on? Are you playing on the social engineering? Are there going to be people that do it for clout? Absolutely. fucking There's going to be people who use things for their gain and people who don't. Mm-hmm. But are there also going to be people that sit there and, and do it because that's the only way they can show support? By doing what? I'm sorry. By doing what? I'm sorry. By showing up for the protests. Oh, by posting the black square. And by po- well, not just posting the black square, but uh, like w- what? I'm I'm curious. What mm-hmm. else are are we expecting these? I can tell you. Yeah, I'd love it. So, I can put it this way, and this is as like light as I can put it. I I don't want you to go light. I want you to put it as raw as physically. But I mean, understand. I'm I'm putting this out on on all platforms. In cool. where someone, I'm, I'm with it. someone like myself, yeah, yeah, who is yeah. is saying these things, is mm-hmm. gonna get the most amount of shit. Got you. Is gonna get absolutely fucking hated on because of what I'm saying, and it's gonna be like, how the fuck did you not see this right in front of you? Well, but, but this I is, respect it. This though. is exactly why is because there's a lot of people like myself that are like, what else can we do? And this dialogue needs to happen. Absolutely. This 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 without needs distraction. To Facts. So, let me Facts. know what what is expected of of. Mm-hmm. White people mm-hmm. to to do mm-hmm. other than than support and right. and be hand in hand. Right. Well, white people. Huh? No, let him go. Oh, okay. I was like, okay, you can. I was gonna say, did you hear that too? I did first. All I, I said is know. research. Like, just fucking do That's it. That's the first. That is definitely okay. Like, but for those of the, the uh-huh. sorry, continue. No, go ahead. No. Go, I can I'm literally I'm literally like you're like this is exactly what you can do. Stop <laughs> fucking cutting me off. Oh no no no, it's okay. I'm I'm listening. I'm observing as well, you know. It's, it's, but um 
Yeah, I think um, it's going to... Re- I mean, we already, we've said it millions of times over and over again. And this is my point of saying that I can tell about time frame who's doing it for the sake that of it being on the right side of history and not because you are humanitarian, all right? Because there's a difference and there's genuine things and there's ingenuine things, okay? So it's only going to result into, I mean, I don't know. I think one thing, white supremacy only respects loss of blood and loss of bread. So until those things are taken, or whatever the case is, which we obviously the other side doesn't want to do because there's it's been centuries here. Uh, I mean, obviously. Um, what do you mean? What do you mean centuries? Centuries here? of oppression. Yeah. So like, when I mean it's gonna come down to one thing, I mean this. Like I tell my friend Charlie all the time. He's a white guy. The guy that produces a lot of my stuff. We talked about him on the first episode yeah. a little bit. I tell him directly. I say, look. You are either going to hold your people accountable yourself or we are going to hold all y'all accountable because I can't tell the motherfucking difference. So I don't know what I don't know if you a good white motherfucker coming down the street now. I don't know the difference. You all look white to me. You all oppressed me to me. You all showed us that there was a difference. For this whole time. You showed us that we weren't human this whole time. So why, thank you. So why, and even further, the darkest skinned man on earth, that's another, that's a whole nother conversation. But, Were yeah. you about to get biblical? Um, I'm, I'm pretty biblical with everything I do, low key. But, I mean, maybe on accident. You're about to get more biblical. <laughs> maybe on accident. But um, I, I was saying the darker man on earth is oppressed all around. So, mm. I think it, we, we brought up two different points. Yeah, we did. I wasn't okay. even finished uh, also, and that's my, that's my mistake because I, <laughs> I stopped my sentence. But what I told please, my friend... Please continue, for the love of God. My mistake. Yeah, that's my mistake. <laughs> I told my friend, Charlie, either you're going to hold your people accountable or we're going to hold every, or you know the other group, the right side of history, is going to hold everyone accountable. So, I mean, if that's not incentive enough to be like, hey, I'm your friend... I love you. I'm your brother. You my brother. You say you love me. You say you got me. So why won't you hold him accountable? Because what he looks like you a little bit more. So then are you a humanitarian? So that's why you look at me as not a human. These things go real deep. This is a it's a deep, deep issue. White people look at dogs more like them than people. And if you could tell me why, I don't know. Because we walk right, we don't walk on hind legs. I, I don't know. That's another conversation, but I think it go it boils down to ego. And I think it boils down to the ego of whatever man that's on top, which happens to be the white male at the moment. The ego of that of of not wanting any fair economic equity, anything of that nature, because you may be beaten at your own game, is the reason why I feel like racism continues. But I think that's an ego problem. But yeah. You say a lot of profound words, seriously. And, oh, thank you, thank you. And I, I, I just, I, because this is how my brain works, I, I, mm. I got to ask a couple questions. No, you, absolutely. You, you, you say, you know, hold that, that man accountable, mm-hmm. right? Hold that person accountable. Hold the person that looks like you accountable. Okay. Mm-hmm. In what way do you want someone like myself mm-hmm. to hold someone that I've never met uh-huh. accountable? Other than what we're doing to- That's your ego talking right now. Okay. Uh, and I, I'm not. It's, it's really loud. <laughs> Respectfully. Absolutely. No, like disrespect. But I want to. I want to hear. Mm-hmm. What else needs to be done? I mean, Instead what, what makes you? The- what makes you so different from a guy you never met? What makes right. you so different? Like for you to put emphasis on the fact that you said a guy I never met before lets me know that your ego is so in front of your vision right now that okay. you can't see that I'm the same as her, him. And you in this room. And I ain't never met y'all. And if somebody walked up to her with a gun, him with a gun, and him with a gun, and I got one on me, I'm going to save every single one of y'all motherfuckers because you're a human. Correct. So just like you would do for your father or your mother or the people that's your family or the people that you love. If you love everyone and we're all each other and this, this, and that and all that deep shit and we beyond this little skin shit, which is facts and we all know that then you're going to treat me like your family. You're going to treat me like you love me. You're going to protect me like you love me. It's not going to be something I'm going to have to tell you to do. It's going to be something that you do naturally because you love me. Now, because the people don't love, 
and they got hate in them, they don't do it. The fruits of your labor just do what you have in you already. The works in your heart shows in, in, in the work that you do every single day, the condition of your heart. So let me ask you this real mm -hmm. quick. Are you asking me to pull a gun on someone that, <laughs> that, that, and I mean this genuinely. Facts, go ahead. Are you asking me to pull a gun on someone if I see them in the street that, that ha has committed a, a, a racial crime, if, even if I don't know that they've committed a racial crime? You're still thinking. You're, very, you're still I'm thinking about. Confused. You're still thinking about racial, and I've taken racial away from the conversation. I don't, I don't think you have, and I've included everyone. I don't, but yeah, you I, don't think I have because you're not listening. Your okay. ego is listening to me, but okay, hold you're not, on. You're not hold listening. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. When it comes to when it comes to who we're talking about, okay, and we're talking about the injustices that have been done, okay, I hold everyone at the same level. I hear you. I hold everyone at the same level. So if I witness it happening. I would step in. The so answer, is, to answer your question, no. What okay. I'm saying is, wh who is she to you? Who is Bree? Yes. Basically a sister. Okay. So somebody with a weapon, let's be less general here since we're not getting it, with a weapon walks up to her and is going to stab her or punch her or slam her or something oh, you don't want her... Oh. All right then, treat everybody like that. Then you, then you care about humans. Would be equal out. So thank so you. I, I wouldn't have to I tell you that just because you saying. don't know him. I understand what you're saying. I don't think you do. No, I, I, I do. I very much do. Okay. I just, I, I don't know. Is it hard to implement? Hmm. I don't know if I understand what you are expecting. Expecting from the people that are human? that are showing I, I, what I'm hold expecting on, from on, another. Hold on, hold on. You hold on for a second. I don't know if you're. Let me finish. I'm gonna answer your question before you answer. We're gonna save a lot of time with doing this. So. What I'm expecting from another human is for you to act like I'm a human when you see me. That's it. I don't know what's difficult about that. All he's saying, I think, in relation to what you're trying to ask, Ty, is the social media is not anything he's going to answer about because that's not what matters. Correct. It's like you're putting a block up for fucking nothing. You're putting it up there so you can let your friends know, oh, I'm maybe not racist. Maybe you can think of me in that light when in reality, that's not what matters. What you need to be doing is going online, looking where your local community centers are that you can be helping out. Look at your friends and ask them what they need. Look at people that you don't know. Ask them what they need because they've been struggling for so much longer than us. And if you don't know, you can ask. Now, yeah. what I'm saying is this. If you're coming from a humanitarian or love or like, you know, care or whatever, whatever you have in you, if you're coming from that, you are going to do those things natural. Just like if you have a girlfriend and you like that girlfriend, you're going to court that girlfriend. You're going to take that girlfriend out. You're going to smack your girlfriend booty. You're going to do this. You're going to do that because you like her. And then when, when something comes down to protecting her, when it comes to love and putting your life on the line for somebody you love, you're gonna do that. If it's your buddy and you're not, let's say you're heterosexual and you don't, you don't, you're not gay, and, you know, but you got a buddy that you love, and that's your homie, right? And that's your brother, but it's your homie, it's not your family, but it's your homie, right? Are you gonna let somebody do something harmful to that, that motherfucker? No, you're not, because you got him, because you care about him, because you love him. So me having to come and tell everybody, oh, you should be doing this, you should do this, you should go research this and, and hit the folks with me when I do it on Instagram to look like you ain't racist. I don't, I don't give a damn about that shit. You should already know what you want to do, because you do it for your people that you care about every damn day. You're so disconnected from everybody, being us being each other, you're so disconnected that you can't see that. And I'm not saying you can't because maybe you're playing devil's advocate. And I'm aware this is a podcast. I'm only saying that maybe you can't see that right now. You can't see just how close we are and just how much I am him and I am yo ass too. Even though I'm talking to you right now like this. I'm you too. And you me. Even though you might dis disagree. You are. And until we come to that and learn that, we're going to learn that doing things together is the only way to do this shit. And individualism and ego and all things that breed to that side of the world is it leads to destruction and fear. I want to get one thing across that I don't know if it was mm -hmm. addressed to begin with. I don't think this is you, by the way. I, I'm just expressing. <laughs> no, no, no. That's kind of what, <laughs> I, that, that, that's kind of what I'm going to go over I is <laughs> this isn't the first time mm -hmm. that I've had this conversation. I got you. And so let's get one thing very fucking accurate. Mm-hmm is when it comes to talking about the, 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 anything that has to do with race, it's always going to be a tiptoe kind of subject. Yeah, more. But at the same time, it doesn't fucking have to be. Because mm -hmm. we're going towards this, this, this equilibrium of, guess what, bitch? We're the same. We're the same. And it's always going to be that way 
once we pass this 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 stepping stone of get the a get the fuck over it mm-hmm. not in in terms of get the fuck over it we're equal but get the fuck over it in terms of hey mm-hmm. we're here and we're here to stay as humans mm-hmm. we're not going anywhere until a fucking asteroid wipes us the fuck out but mm-hmm. until we all come together and actually learn to 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 come together and and be one mm-hmm. i'm right i i understand what you're saying and do you understand that when somebody does the, something first the fury and the emotion that i caught mm-hmm. just now mm-hmm. is jaw dropping Okay. And it's eye opening. I'm an Aries and I'm a black male. I've been in America my whole life. This is in me every motherfucking day. I love it. Mm. And I think it's a conversation that doesn't need to be had mm. as a two way conversation. Mm. I think it needs to be exactly what just happened, which is you. sit the fuck down, mm. shut the fuck up, mm. and let me talk for a second, which is exactly what you just did. And I've had this conversation. With another friend of mine mm. who did the exact same thing. And when it comes to talking about ego, you are spot on. And I'll tell you why. Thank you, man. Everything that you're saying, I'm sitting here like, I'm not like that. Mm. I don't think that way. Mm. You're wrong. You don't know who you're talking to. Mm. Well, guess why I'm saying that. Hmm. Because I don't want to be portrayed as a racist. I feel it. I don't want to be portrayed as a racist. I feel it. Does that, in turn, pseudo, make me a racist? Can I say something really quick? Doesn't that kind of circle back to your first point about the rioting? Like that the people that are storming the Capitol right now should be looking and being like, well, I've seen this before. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. 110%. Gotcha. So I want you to understand where my, where my mm-hmm. questions come from. Mm-hmm. I got you. The shields that come up mm-hmm. is immediate. I mean, think about the culture we live in right now. Mm-hmm. Just for posting this on YouTube could immediately get fucking canceled like that. And I'm not even, I'm nobody. Life. Right? Mm-hmm. But in having the conversation, mm-hmm. think about how many people are going to sit behind their screen mm-hmm. and watch this and be like, he's getting fucking railed right now. That aren't even going to realize that you're talking to me, you're talking to them, you're talking to everybody Every, that's fucking listening. Facts. And and I just want to say this as well, I'm not trying to be extra, but you're, if you're worried about that, it's only your ego worrying about that. Because only truth is being displayed right now and everybody should see this. And I don't disagree. And it's okay. And it's okay what they think and what they mean. Oh, we look like you're getting... Nope. We having a very important conversation and we're sharpening steel, both of us. All of us. So, you know. That's also, if you have the worry of, you know, what they may think, that's ego too. Let that go. Let's get one thing straight. I don't give a shit what anyone thinks. I fucks with that. Be, I mean, you might have seen me now, but <laughs> I still look like a fucking douche. <laughs> so, but no, it, 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 it's, it's true. And, and reading comments and shit doesn't right. really matter to me. But, you know, at the end of the day, the one thing that I, I, I'm glad that we got across and I kind of wanted to poke the bear a little bit mm-hmm. is this. Facts. You know, and, and, and. The conversation that we just had, again, most people are going to sit there and fucking rubbing their hands like, yeah, fucking give it to them. <laughs> Who aren't going to realize, like, mm. if they were sitting in this chair and they were in the same scenario, they'd be asking the same questions, putting up the same shields. Yeah, absolutely. Only to get them broken down by absolute fact. And that just happens. And we're humans and it's the ego that doesn't want that to happen. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the thing. Uh, ego has this fake self-accountability system it's like no i got it i got it but it's like no you don't and it's okay because i didn't have it either and i don't now too you know what i mean like that's what it's about man like (laughs) we don't we don't we don't even know what we're doing bro (laughs) just fucking love somebody next to you like what's and if you do genuinely it's just gonna happen so yeah, self-awareness, you know, ego doesn't allow self-awareness. It doesn't allow you to be like, dang. It doesn't allow you to sit here and ask and, and let me speak. It doesn't allow things like that, you know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, I'm glad we're talking about it. I'm glad we got to, to vocalize what, how I feel about it. Let it be known, I wanted to hear your, your take on that. Absolutely. And, I, and, and regardless of how loud, emotional, and, and real it got, mm-hmm. That is exactly oh, that's life, how yeah. it should have been. Oh yeah, how it should be. It is, yeah. mm-hmm. But it's not. 
I mean, in most cases, yeah, you know, in most cases, people are holding back, and most people are eager to to say the next thing. Mm-hmm. When at at a certain point, if, would I be lying if I said, okay, I'm going to defend myself, and then you know, after a while, you just got to let that shit go and be like, at what point am mm-hmm. I just exhausted with putting up excuses? Yeah, I mean, you could project for however long as you want, but the quicker you nip something in the bud, the less, the less uh, exhausting the overhaul is going to be. You know, I'm getting a lot more energy out of you now than mm-hmm. I did back then. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was definitely more like answer question, answer question, answer. Yeah. I hope you feel a little more relaxed. I mean, I feel, yeah, I feel like me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can see it. <laughs> I feel you. Which is great. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want you uh-huh. to hold anything back. Mm-hmm. But I also, and I also think the questions were just like a lot more lighthearted. What last time? Mm-hmm. Or not a lot more lighthearted because we still scaled the realm. Yeah, oh, we'll get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say. Uh, okay, so I know mm-hmm. we we went off on a tangent, and I'm glad we did, mm-hmm. and and you know we covered a lot, and and mm-hmm. I think that's great, and I hope that it applies towards what we're about to you know cover in the future. Facts. Uh, so. Get ready. Let's get it. Uh, but going back to your music real quick, mm-hmm. um, I know that you had said re- uh, uh, most recently that you were going to drop your next either single or project or album mm-hmm. before 2021. I did say that. Liar. Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> what happened? Man, it's, it's the artistic thing yeah. going on. It's just. Did you hold back? It wasn't done. No. It wasn't done. Uh-uh. Well, I know that you also said that you were going to drop your shit this month. Yeah. That can in still, a week. Yeah. I was about for to real. say that can still happen for sure. Is it gonna happen? <laughs> Next week. Oh no! You have a date. You got everything recorded. Everything's good to go. Mastered. Everything's. Everything's recorded. Are you ready? Uh, All right. What do we call? What? Can you can you drop the name? Oh yeah, for sure. What is it? Green sweatshirt. Green sweatshirt. We talked about this last time. We That's did. right. <laughs> Green sweatshirt. Okay. Everything's recorded. Everything's mastered. You got album artwork. Mm. Nah, not yet. You didn't have it last time either. <laughs> <laughs> it's what? It's in the making. We finna get mm-hmm. something popping with that. We Heard got that? sketches, yeah. you know. Okay, and are, is this, are we doing features? Are we doing... Um, I got like, probably like two features. Okay. How many How many tracks you got? Um, you mean like overall or you just mean... Why not? Like for an EP. Or okay, yeah. It's an EP? Yeah. So what, five or six? Five songs. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Where are you dropping it at so that we can let people know? Um, All platforms. Pull your mic up just a little bit. That'll be... It'll be on all platforms. Okay. So Spotify, Apple, fucking yeah. all the, all the, Everything. Napster. Deezer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Napster, Old Deezer. Old school shit. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. And w- where can they, f- is it, is it Max Triple X Dupree or? Nah, on, on uh, IG is just T.Y. Dupree. T.Y. Dupree? Yeah. No underscore, no nothing. Just nope. T.Y. Dupree. T.Y. Dupree. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, that's how they can find you on Spotify and Apple Music too? Yep. Okay. Uh, what in this album are you most proud of? Uh, it's a EP. What in this EP <laughs> are you most proud of? Um, I mean, it's my first EP, so I'm excited for that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. So, how what promotion are you are you putting behind it, or is it just kind of you're um, you're doing advertising for from Facebook, social media, Instagram, uh, all that, or advertising? Uh, we pretty much like like got a page because he already pretty much booming out here so yeah so like, honestly i'm i'm, I'm going to take yeah. care of all of that honestly yeah. so i just want him to be able to throw paint on the canvas so yeah. he wants to do that and i want to help and yeah like honestly i've had it's a i have a, a, a collective or a brand i know <laughs> I, I, I see i see your little your little necklace mm-hmm. can you talk about that for a sec yeah that like, this has to do with just like my upbringing that's like a long story but that's just pops instilling me like with who who we were really which is early. uh royalty royalty mm. and so what is your brand crown sound what is it crown sound crown sound uh-huh. and so are you wearing that because that was is that it i gotta know mm-hmm. was it made for you or did you see it and you're like there it is I seen this one. I had one the one I had prior was made for me, it had my name in it. You came in last stuff. time with a hat, right? Crown Sound. That's your hat. merch? Yeah, that's yeah, that's the merch. Yeah. Yeah. That's an hour, yeah. That's he's Crown Sound as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Crown well, Sound. I would hope so. I mean gotcha. shit. It would be it would be kind of a rivalry if y'all had your own different brands going on. I mean Yeah, I just it, I think I just took the my word out of context, forgive me. <laughs> I'm too analytical, man. I forgive me. No, but, you're good. Uh so so is it's not a label yet. 
Mm. It's would a, you call it a brand or would you call it a, a label? Brand. It's a brand. It's a brand. Yeah, because and the brand more. gets owned, not owned, but the brand gets recorded under the same name, or or do you have this like? Do you have the same producer? Do you like? How mm. does that work? It's um, not. It's not. Now, forgive me for. It's not like. Um, I don't know if you guys are if it, it it's not a rap group because you guys have your own individual whatever it's not a it's not a hip hop group you have your own individual thing it's not a a group mentality you have your own individuals under the same right I kind of same, yeah. umbrella yeah mm. to compare it's like Dreamville yeah. Perfect. essentially yeah. okay Perfect. okay J Cole he maybe has a little his fucking heads record. up next time I don't know <laughs> I no, like, I know but and, uh, <laughs> Dreamville is J Cole's record and he has like a whole slew of different artists that he represents essentially but they sometimes hop on each other's songs and things like that right gotcha so perfect so in that respect you know you come out with an EP or an album mm-hmm. he hops on there's no it's just featuring Max yep featuring Max mm-hmm. and then you have something Emmett hops on featuring Emmett Dupree there's no like Nothing like that. Okay. If it's more That's organic. Than, if it's more than me and him, like if it's Charlie as well, or Dizzy, which is another guy that's, he just had a baby, so he's handling things, but he's an artist in Crown Sound. But Good for him. If shout it's more than us, yeah, shout out to that. Shout out to Dizzy. Shout out. If he sees this, he don't be on the internet and shit like that. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, Holding uh, the baby and shit. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> but once we do that, if it's like three of us, then we'll put Crown Sound on it, you know? Heard that. Mm. Uh, would you release it as Crown Sound, or would you release it as whoever? I, I don't features is is featured the most. Whoever wrote it, whoever did the beat, who, like how does that work? Depends. Yeah. Depends. How so? Like if he has a, if it's a song that is better for like, I'm more of a like where does this song fit for the better of everything? So if it's not if it's not gonna give me the maximum whatever from like putting Crown Sound on it, if it's gonna get maximum from saying Amy Dupree featuring then I'm going to do that. If this is like a song that fits his brand a lot, I'm going to be like, this is yours right. featuring me. But if it's something that sounds like crown sound, which is like more like the horns, we got like a certain sound that Charlie kind of cooks up and stuff like that, but that's more of a crown sound sound. You have a little bit of the horns on on uh, hundreds and things, right? That's one of my, yeah, I like to do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little bit more orchestra, full, oh, like, like, you yeah, know, little, sure. little harmony here and there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so... I'm 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 interested to to talk to you about this only because we talked about it last time and I I, mm-hmm. I think we cut we cut the interview not we cut the interview short but I think we stopped at a time when we could have kept going right and that was about the energy conversation mm. oh yeah and your idealistic uh, uh, perception mm-hmm. of life mm-hmm. but you don't do psychedelic drugs that's funny yeah no <laughs> but you have this idea that energy is is. Mm-hmm. All around and creates everything that we do see, hear, feel, everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want you. To, can you elaborate a little bit on what you're? Absolutely. Because you 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 are a Christian. Yeah. Technically. Right. Yep. And so, someone like myself, who's a pantheist, mm-hmm. I believe in energy being everything. Everything has gotcha. a vibration. Everything has that. So so how does that differ mm-hmm. from what my beliefs are in terms of your own? It doesn't really differ. That's like that's my thing. Is like. People argue about things that don't really differ. Like people say like science and religion can't go together and all this other stuff. And they say a lot of things that can't go together to keep it at like in odds. But I don't think it's different at all. I happen, I'm a Christian and I think that the physical plane is not the primary one in my opinion. I don't think it is. And I think when people start to pay attention to the spiritual realm a lot more or the, sp- or the energy, you know, just like the things you can't touch, the intangibles a lot more, I think it'll be, you know, they'll just start to understand less of the flesh and it'll be less ego and all that. I think it'll uh, like result in all of that. What is the spiritual realm to you? Spiritual realm is just the intangibles, like things less of you can grab. You know, people like to believe in like, oh, this mic because it's here and I can grab it and stuff like that. But if there's no like definition in what it is, then it doesn't exist. You see what I'm saying? We had a conversation last time about a spiritual mic, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Not something you can grab, but something that you you show, something you portray in your performance, in your your speech, in your uh, uh, mannerisms, in how you do. You know, Mm -hmm. the better you are as a person, that's that's a megaphone of, Mm -hmm. of, of... uh, you know, a spiritual, um, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's like a glow. It's just like, it's just not something you can necessarily put in the words. It's like somebody walks in the room or you have a conversation with someone, you know, that's the thing. Like 
it's a little more complicated to find out. So that's why I think it's the primary. Anything that takes a little bit more work to me feels like it's a little more important. Absolutely. So what would I know that you said you started when you were younger and, mm-hmm. and, and grew and you know, you started singing and then you started rapping and then you you you, you didn't play instruments though. No, I just did a little bit of... Who, who played per- guitar on your first track? Uh, that's me. You play guitar? Yeah, I can riff. Like, okay, I, I'm an ear guy. So, like, I, I done some piano, too. Like, Crash, the beat of Crash mm-hmm. in the intro. I did that. So, that was just... That's all ear. All that's ear. Piano's the ear. I can play a pattern, find the pattern I like, press record, and be like, that's, you know... That's it. Then I got it, and I can just repeat it from that point. Right. Mm. You on Crash, just mm-hmm. to circle back around to that real quick, uh, you threw in a lot of different, uh, mm-hmm. I guess, uh, not mannerisms to say, but but mm-hmm. personality into that right. for the sole purpose of capturing the audience's mm-hmm. attention for certain things that made a mm-hmm. big impact in the song, mm-hmm. right? Cra- Where did uh, that come from? Crash is just honestly, Crash is like me bleeding on the microphone. It's not really like even like un, you know, like un, like edited stress. Like it's not, you know, because some people, some artists put like edited stress in their song. You know what I mean? Like, but that was just like real raw. So it was Crash is just like an example of just like me being very brash. But you 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 put in certain sa- not sound bites mm-hmm. so to speak but you did the oh and then the mm. the what oh, like got you. all of those got those you. extra you know mm. things that you would see in a movie almost got you. those things you put in on purpose yes right? yes actually i did put those like right time wise yeah, so let right. people know hey mm. shut up listen got you like you got know you. what i mean that that's important and mm. i i don't know if mm-hmm. for me at least when i heard i was like wait he said what and then mm-hmm. that happened and i'm like that's what he's trying to portray. And that's what I want to, I want to cultivate the audience that pays attention. Cause I feel like in the long run, the more attentive you are, the more grateful you are, so on and so forth. So, yeah. So when it comes to you being this <laughs> umbrella mm. of, of, an, of a musician and an artist, mm. you know, what does the future look like for, for Emmett Dupree? Future looks like for Emmett Dupree. Uh, the platform is going to continue to grow exponentially. I'm gonna to continue to receive uh, monetary gain for I can cont- continue to give resources back out and become my own universe. Cause the universe, everything is everything. And if I'm being of what like I am made in the image of, then I'm doing my job. So I'm gonna keep growing my platform, give, people continue to give from what I'm giving and I'll just continue that. And Max, I know that you you do free form, uh, you know, off the dome, mm-hmm. just freestyle. Mm-hmm. That's your that's your specialty. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, I can write too, but I mean, I don't really write like. That. I'm still waiting on you to just fucking bust out. Yeah. Last time we were joking <laughs> that you know you were always quick with the jokes, just right here and there. Mm. And I'm still waiting for you to bust out something for me, but <laughs> I guess you just have to be under 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 your own you know uh, uh, energy. Mm. He's actually more composed than I am. So what? Yeah. How's that? Well, I mean, I can tell. I mean, you've been chilling oh, yeah. this whole time. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, he's chill. He's very chill. But then, when 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 you <laughs> I mean, spin, is it a... is it different? <laughs> like, do you change your persona? I mean, it depends on who I'm around, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Was that to say, if you're around me, you're gonna go like Fallout Boy or fucking nah. Green Day or nah. like like how does that look? I like, might though. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I might go Fallout Boy or Green Day, but <laughs> but. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm like, all right, Max, go for it. He's like, I miss you. <laughs> like, <laughs> sugar, we're going down, swinging. Hey, <laughs> but how how does that look? Like, how do you how do you do? You, what is your uh, persona when you're performing? Um, I'm just chill. Like, I just be chilling. I'm chill. Man of many words, I love it. Yeah. Many. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn, dude, I see you're down in that fucking water though. Um. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. Shout out Pathwater, whoever you guys are, man. Shout out Pathwater, man. Never had it before? No. Well, actually, uh, one time. Last time you were here? Last time I was here, yeah. and I still got that bottle in the whip, by the way. Because <laughs> y'all said we can keep it, right? Oh, yeah. Gosh, you, gosh, you, gosh. Absolutely. Gosh. Kind of what Pathwater wants. They want you to keep it and refill it. That's good. At least they're helping the world somehow. That's good. <laughs> no, nah, that's good. That's like a company that's not trying to continue to make residual money off of something. They're mm-hmm. actually trying to give you something you can keep. Exactly. That's crazy. 
And they just like gave us the water for free. They were like, we don't really know you or anything you do, but <laughs> sure. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, talk, talk about a company that wants to help out someone that that's has cool. no name. Hey, it's that, pretty great. That's how you do it. Yeah, absolutely. You treat them like the celebrities and the celebrities like the regular people. Balance yeah. it all out, you know. Exactly. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'm just going to throw it all out there. Mm. Uh, Brie wanted me to bring this up because I still, even though she showed me countless uh, uh, you know, videos on this, mm-hmm. what the fuck is a cipher? And please, <laughs> please inform someone like myself who has no idea what the fuck this is, what it is, <laughs> what it does for you, how you grow in this environment. Like, what, what the fuck is it? Pretty much like a rap battle. One more time with your... It's pretty much just like a rap battle. Okay, but the way she was saying it was it's like a rap battle that's that's not planned out, but is like right. you come prepared a little bit to kind of show show what you have. As an artist, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, like if you're a prepared, usually when you're not a prepared artist, you don't jump in the cipher. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Like okay. only prepared artists usually are able to display in the cipher. Or so somebody who raps freestyle can hop in the cipher and be like, oh, I can do this. But cypher. then what's the difference between that and a freestyle? Um, if it's written, it's not. Yeah. Okay, so it is written. Well, I mean, technically, yeah. look at you. So technically, freestyle is just a free verse. And right. off the dome is off the dome. Right. But. So I guess this is like the same conversation when I'm trying to explain to my father mm. what a live photo is. Got you. And I'm, I'm like, dude, no, you press it and, and you can see it what moves. happened before and after the picture. He's like, right. so it's a video. I'm like, no, 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 it's a photo. He's like, no, what that's is? a fucking video. Gotcha. Like, explain to me what the fuck a cypher is. Like, mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm genuinely curious because I feel like, mm-hmm. you know, freestyle has its own talent, right? Gotcha. You go off the dome. You don't even think about it. It's just, or mm-hmm. maybe you do. I don't know. But you, you're just so quick in, in, in everything that you do. And your brain literally is connecting all these different words and all these different uh, rhymes to everything. So, so mm-hmm. you know. What is the difference with that in a cipher? Is it if someone that freestyles can come onto a cipher, mm-hmm. but doesn't have anything written, doesn't that mm-hmm. kind of toss it being prepared out the window? Nope. No. Okay. So let's talk to, about what that is. Got you. If they know how to do that, like okay, me and Max start a cipher right right now. There's only two of us, but ciphers, by the way, are usually more than two people. Okay. So they're usually like everyone is usually less of like it's not that it's less of competitive nature because it's still that, but. It's less of like you win, you win, because it's like everybody just kind of spitting their shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I go for however long, and then like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? People gas you up on the side. Right. Then it's his time, and then he show what he about. You know, he rep his brand, he represent what he do. You know, in the same circle, then it just kind of goes down. So would you say it's kind of like a showcase? That's I like all that. It is. Yeah. Do you get the beat beforehand or no? No. No beat usually. Yeah, no. I mean, sometimes there's a beat. I mean, but like if it's a re- regular cipher. Usually, like, we just in the circle and we rap. I can't wait for the amount of people that are like, you don't know what the fuck a cypher is, you dumb motherfucker. They might. <laughs> <laughs> they might ask, like, Man, what? But they'll be all right. <laughs> uh, okay, so what? what is the... Do, do, you have, do you have hopes of being on, like, a, a big platform type cypher deal, like uh, no. like freshman or anything like that? Mm, nah. No? No. Okay. Well, him, that pretty much squashes that stay. answer. So. I mean, him less of me, him less of than me. I, I, I yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Not really. But I mean, do you want to be independent yeah. though? Yeah. Okay. I'd rather be. Well, it's not that I'd rather be. It's just that the things that come with being labels are yeah. some mean people. <laughs> yes, and that's a dark. Yeah, that's yeah. a whole other thing. Yeah, they own your shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you. <laughs> they, they own you. Yeah. They own you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah facts. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, I'm interested to hear, and I'm sure that that people listening are interested to hear. Once once people listen to to your music, mm-hmm. your influences are up, down, and all around. And I know last time that we were here, we were talking about Kid Cudi and whether or not he was going to drop Man he on actually, the Man. And he, and he dropped. Did. And he, he dropped. Fucking, it, what was it? Literally dropped. like that night or the night after? Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> Maybe a he week or something, night, but it oh, it was yeah, it was, yeah, it was it was, it was one of yeah. I was I was because that <laughs> night I was like, he's got to drop, and you guys are like no, he's been toying with us this whole time. I'm like, well, yeah. what the? And the I next was, thing you know, I can't. Drop. It was like the day after. I'm like, yeah, oh shit, in like five years. And I was like, that. he's gonna drop, and he did. And he was like, he's not going to drop. I was like, Merry Christmas, you know. <laughs> so, I know Cuddy's one of your your influences. Mm-hmm. Who who got you to where you're at? Who got me to where I'm at? Mm, in what sense? 
I mean, who'd you listen to? Who'd you take from? Who'd, who's in, who inspires you? Mm-hmm. Who who didn't inspire you? Who were you like? Fuck, I don't want to be like that That's guy. Funny. Like, you know, <laughs> up, down, and all around. That's funny. Um, who does inspire me? Um, yeah, Cuddy, Kanye inspires me. Uh, Kendrick inspires me a lot more than anybody, I guess, at the moment. Andre 3000, Sci High the Prince. Um, there's a couple of profound lyricists that take their content really serious as well as their like skill. I feel like you named a lot of people that are lyricists mm-hmm. and own their craft and make mm-hmm. their own beats mm-hmm. rather than, you know, some of the newer age mm-hmm. individuals that I've heard mm-hmm. where they're not, you know, the SoundCloud generation. Mm-hmm. It's a completely different generation. I'm not saying pe- everyone that goes to SoundCloud is is one way or the other, but we know exactly who the fuck I'm talking about here. Yeah, that's interesting. And, <laughs> and there's there's a different type of of, uh-huh. of mentality when it goes into those mm-hmm. people. Kind of going back to what you were saying mm-hmm. when it comes to instant gratification. Mm-hmm. Those are the people that are looking to release every single day, every single second. Well, leaves way for a lot of shitty music. Little pimps and things. We're going to get hit on by a bunch of little pimp fans. Uh, oh, little pump. I was thinking little pump. That's my bad. Yo, that's <laughs> No, no, no. I'm little pimp is little pump. Trump called him little pimp, so therefore I call him little pimp now. Oh. Oh. Mm. Very nice. Okay, well. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm being funny. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're, on, you're, on, you're on the same page. <laughs> I can't tell because you're so straight-faced. I got you. <laughs> I just need to get on your level of humor. That's my fault. That's my fault. Yeah, no, nah, that's not your fault, man. <laughs> uh, no shout out to Ian Baker, though, for real. Shout and out to who, Ian. Who's He's Colin Latham? Colin is his guy that works with him as well, and their thing is called Domino Effect. Their brand is called Domino Effect. Okay. That's the YouTube you can subscribe to as well below if you liked it. But that's that's Ian and his whole thing. What's their Instagram? Domino Effect. Domino once, Effect. Yeah, okay. You got it All right. one word? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can definitely hear like the Kendrick and do you like Tyler the Creator at all? I do. Okay, you I like can Tyler kind of that yeah. mo- ego monster in Absolute, the head absolutely. through there. Yeah, you can absolutely. see that. Do you like Tory Lanez? Um, no. So sorry. Yeah, we don't play him that often. No, even you, before the incident, we similar. Didn't play him often. Yeah, before the incident, mm. but similarly, mm. like that. Just a, thank you. He's talented. Yeah, he's talented. Yeah, yeah, thank Unfortunately, you, thank you. he mm. just made a lot of dumb decisions. Right. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> what are these? Du- I, I don't know about this. What is this? <laughs> I think he shot somebody. Uh, oh, no shit. Megan the Stallion. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, Megan the Stallion. I did hear about this. Specifically, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just a whole <laughs> a whole another thing you could get into. It's a side note. I know for real. Uh well, here's the thing. I think I think, mm-hmm. you know, we, we covered a shit ton of things and I think we went over just about everything that, that I hope to get out of this podcast. And for sure. I'll be honest with you, like, you know, I said this last time, and obviously that doesn't matter because no one's going to fucking hear it other than who was in the room last time, but I learned something from you each and every time. I learned something from both of you each and every time, and I, and I really appreciate you both being here, especially, especially, you know, coming back after what happened the first time, and, and we had a phenomenal conversation and everything was great, but it's just, unfortunately, we didn't, we didn't tighten our screws, and, and that's mm-hmm. on us, but the, the fact that you guys did actually come back and were able to, to do this again was excellent, and... You know the conversation we had today was 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 absolutely incredible, and and I personally will forever take something from it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I definitely want to make sure that you guys are on here again so that we can talk about you know when you drop your first EP, you know what what you have going on next, like what happens with with Crown Crown Sound, That's Crown right. Sound. <laughs> That's right. um, you gonna give me some merch, by the way, dude? Um, I'm selling it, man. You gotta buy it. Well, I'm gonna buy it. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I'm like, I got, yeah, I got some I'm in the truck. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna put a uh, fucking hat on school dude right here. I got, I got some on me. D- done. All right, done. we're gonna make that happen. That's for sure. Um, but no, I, I, I sincerely appreciate you guys being on here, and and Thank you. hopefully, hopefully, you know, you guys had a, a different experience since this is your first podcast, second right. now, oh. technically. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and shout out. You know your guys' mm-hmm. Instagrams, where we find you, what your next projects are, and and when we can expect them to be. Gotcha. Uh, Max, what do we got? All right, on IG, you can find me uh, Dupree T Y, and uh, yeah, straight no underscore no nothing. Underscore Dupree D U P R E E T Y. Yes, sir. Bet. And when do we expect your new album? Uh, uh, EP. Week. Next week. Next week, yeah, it should be coming soon. All right, it's the it's the sixth right now. Yeah. It's what Wednesday? 
Yeah. So by next, next Wednesday? Week, by next Wednesday. <laughs> I'm gonna drop it just for you too. Just yes, for you, man. just for you. Man. We'll drop a link too Absolutely. on that day to make sure that we on our story and whatever we need to do to make sure that we can shout that out. What about you, uh, King underscore Emmett E M M I T T. Uh, all platforms Emmett Dupree E M M I T T space Dupree D U P R E E. Excellent. All right, guys, I appreciate you very much. Cheers you, to man. you. Thank you very much for coming on this podcast, and thank you for listening to the Upstream Podcast. Oh. Cheers up. Oh, guys, you guys. Hey.